Boom dia guys, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the YouTube channel of the Bitcoin family. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the guy that is traveling around the world with his family, a wife and three daughters, solely living on Bitcoin already for four years after selling our house, companies, literally everything we owned. Yes, we went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Sagres in Portugal today, where all these people try to learn surfing and it's this shitload of people that want to learn how to surf in today's video of course again talking a little bit about life then going into the bitcoin charts where we'll bomb you with some amazing charts again really cool charts and then we will go to the blockchain news where we will talk a little bit about the ethereum fees and the dutch netherlands bank now giving this first license to a company to trade and huddle bitcoins for the dutch people and I will pick up some really cool flip-flops somewhere here in Sagres. And yes, somewhere in this video, I have hidden a QR code, very small. So you really need to look very carefully to find this QR code. But if you find the QR code and you're able to scan it, then guys, you get 100 family tokens. Again, earning family tokens just by watching our videos. Have fun watching this video today, guys. I need to pick up some flip-flops and film some beautiful views for you guys again. Let's take the machina to Sagres and never forget to be your own bank. Just arrived in Sagres, I see a lot of people in wetsuits and surfboards. Um, I see a castle, I see beautiful views, so let's just get out of this car and check the Sagras area. Are you coming? Come. First check this view. Can you hear guys the wind the sound is really terrible now so i need to use this thing in combination with the roads but that one was disturbing all the sound the last couple of videos but i can't do anything different because else you will be hearing this wind and that's terrible for the sound as well it's a windy place it's a surfing place so i think we will discover some beautiful things over here that i can share with you guys on this side of the cliff man it's beautiful here it's high cliffs i think here's the surfer beach wow that's a lot of surfers guys <laughs> that's like uh, one two three four five six five. it's like one to two hundred surfers i think this is the beach to learn surfing check it So let's start with the family part guys yes yesterday i filmed a video with my daughter jolie and a lot of people loved it that she was um, uh, doing these videos i'm going to film the next video i uh, probably with juna and one with jessa and then again one with the wife so i'm going to include my family a little bit more often into these videos because i really want to show you guys that we as a family are doing this together yes we are a five headed Bitcoin family guys but you also there out there you will all become part of the family as soon you own these family tokens so we are going to create a huge kick-ass Bitcoin family slash normal family that is there to change this world that is there to embrace this new monetary system that is going to be built on blockchain Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies that we refer to as the Bitcoin family so we don't hate other cryptocurrencies we love other cryptocurrencies as well we are just one huge family and to get some more people on board in this video yes a QR code is hidden somewhere in this video five of you guys will receive 100 family tokens you need to look very carefully to find the QR code because it's small it's hidden it's a game it's a treasure hunt for you guys when you watch my video <laughs> one big treasure hunt for 100 family tokens and soon soon guys i will also disclose to you guys how you can spend these family tokens and what you can buy with these really cool family tokens 
Now I said family tokens enough because I'm not going to shill my project all the time. That was the whole family part guys. So I will slowly walk that way. I will take a look at the Bitcoin part. Of course, we need to go into the BAM part because you love the BAM sound, you love the charts and you just want to know what is happening to Bitcoin at the moment. So let's take a look at some cool charts. indeed yesterday happened what I said in the video we could break up or we could break down but it was a breakout coming up very soon I told you guys and it was very soon because the breakout was while I was uploading the video broke out to 10,900 ish US dollar and um, we touched we didn't touch 11k I think we are going to touch 11k today and we're going to try to break 11k if not we will go into some support area but let's take a look at some charts let's start with this one BAM on this chart you can see we are again forming a triangle this is a hourly chart so yes you could see the bitcoin spike yesterday and now again we are forming this triangle this triangle is going to do exactly the same as yesterday's triangle is going to do or we are going to break out upwards out of this triangle or we are going to break out downwards out of this triangle if we will break out upwards guys we are going to go to break the 11k region and then even 11,200 us dollar if we will break downwards of this triangle, then the support is around 10,800 US dollar. And if we would break that level of support, the next level of support is around 10,700. And as you know, the biggest support is around 10,500 US dollar. So let's see what, hap what will happen today. We will go into the weekend. And as you know, the weekend is mostly very slow, but Sundays, I don't know what it is with these Sundays, but mostly on these Sundays, something strange happens to the Bitcoin price. So it could be that we need to wait, uh, wait all the way till Sunday before we break out. But I think we will break out in this weekend again to the upside. I think we are going to test and break 11K this weekend. But like you're used for me, I really love to zoom out. So also in Bitcoin charts. So let's zoom out a little bit and let's take a look at this chart. Bam! Yeah, that was a beautiful bam. Do you see this beautiful orange area and these green lines? I love these charts. These charts are made by uh, BTC charts on Twitter, I think. Really cool charts. Thumbs up for your chart, guys. Um, if you see this chart, guys, what do you see? This orange area is the Bitcoin price. These green lines are the halvings. And you can see these squares on this chart. If you look to the left on the chart, you can see the last halving, the previous halving, I need to say. And after this previous halving, you can see that the Bitcoin price increased exactly with about height of one square. Now we see the halving in May this year. And we can see where the halving took place. And if we would again increase in price one square, just like the other halvings, we would arrive at a beautiful price of 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin next year. Even if we underperform guys, if we are not able to increase with a whole square, with only the half of the square, we will still see a 50,000 US dollar Bitcoin price in the next year. That is times five from now. This is a great investment opportunity. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have any understanding of finances. That's a disclaimer, of course. But this is a beautiful moment to buy into Bitcoin because we are just upfront of this huge bull run that could take us to 50K 100k and even way higher prices in the next couple of years beautiful chart so keep an eye on this chart because if you zoom out it gives you a more restful feeling when you invest in bitcoin because investors zoom out to the weekly monthly and yearly charts and don't stress about the daily or the minute or even the hourly charts that's the only advice i can give you if you just invest for the long term zoom out on the charts and don't freak out on all these minute charts and why do i think that bitcoin will break out to the upside in the short and also in the long term guys because more and more huge companies are investing in bitcoin yesterday square announced that they've invested 50 million us dollar into bitcoin that's one percent of their total capital of their total amount of assets one percent they already invested now in Bitcoin. So they are doing exactly the same as the company MicroStrategy that already bought for $400 million worth of uh, Bitcoin. They exchanged their whole reserve assets into Bitcoin. And now companies like Square and many others will follow guys. I believe all these companies will start to hatch into Bitcoin because they are afraid 
of the inflation the dollar is going to show in the next couple of months and years. So more and more company will follow. And if more and more company will follow and want to buy Bitcoins, then guys, the Bitcoin price can only go up. We only have 21 million Bitcoins to be divided, about 18 millions at the moment. So it will take another four years for the next one and a half million Bitcoins to be mined and then another 100 years for the rest of Bitcoins to be mined. Another flight plague here. <laughs> so yes, I think Bitcoin is exclusive and companies start to understand this. And that is now why Square exchanged 1% of their total assets into Bitcoin. Getting closer and closer to this beautiful castle over here that I will go inside afterwards. And another reason for me to believe, I need to watch out where I walk because else I fall off these cliffs, guys. But another reason for me to believe that Bitcoin is moving up is that we can see that the daily usage of all these Bitcoin addresses increasing tremendously. And not only the daily usage of all these addresses, but also the hash rate is increasing tremendously. Check this chart. Bam! One more time. And bam! And one more time. And bam! Oh, we keep bamming here, man. Sagros makes me bam. I don't know what it is. Beautiful energy over here. The bamming surfing energy. I think it's that. In this chart, guys, you can see that we created a new all-time high in Bitcoin hash rate. This is huge. This means that the miners are very confident in the midterm prices. They now believe that Bitcoin is going to go much higher and that is why they turn on more machines and start to mine more Bitcoins. Because the only re reason that more people start to mine Bitcoin is because they believe the price is going up. Because if they would believe the price would be going down, they will shut down their machines because else the m cost of mining would be too expensive. So this tremendously increasing hash rate way above the Bitcoin price at the moment. And if you look to the left on the chart, we haven't seen this hash rate so high above the Bitcoin price many times. I don't think we ever saw a hash rate that is above the Bitcoin price this hugely. So I do think the Bitcoin price needs to go up to get near this hash rate level like it has been always. If you look to the left, you can see the hash rate and this Bitcoin price. Now the difference is too big. So all the hash rate needs to drop down or the Bitcoin price needs to go up. I believe the Bitcoin price is going up because these miners are not using their hashing power at this moment for nothing. They want to mine a shitload of Bitcoins because they know that this Bitcoin bull run that already started a year ago will soon start to accelerate into a new all-time high. So that is why they're mining a shitload of Bitcoins at the moment and why we see this huge all-time high in hashing power, guys. This combined with all the positive news that the Chinese government is bringing out about Bitcoin in China and that of course stimulates these Chinese Bitcoin miners to mine even harder because China is turning around. They are becoming very positive about Bitcoin mining and the evolution of money into cryptocurrencies and of course China wants to rule the world when it comes to the new monetary system. And to be very clear guys, we are now seeing a hashing rate of 170 exa hashes. 170 exa hashes that is 40 percent more than at the halving in may so we grew with 40 percent since the halving in may to 170 exa hashes that's a lot of energy spent on mining bitcoins but i think it's positive so let's slowly walk towards this castle guys maybe we can even go inside i don't know i don't have a face mask with me so i don't know if i need to wear a face mask if I need to wear a face mask, maybe I can wear like my t-shirt or something like this. We will see. Um, but that were all the charts for today, guys. I l hope you like the charts. So let's now dive into the next part of the video, the blockchain slash news one. Bam. Yeah, let's bam also into these new parts. So I can say bam many more times in my videos because I just love the word bam. And also guys, in this blockchain slash news parts, again a chart, so BAM! Let's take a look at this chart. On this chart guys, you can see that the Ethereum fees are now higher than the Bitcoin fees. Already now for two months in a row, the Ethereum fees are higher than the Bitcoin fees. This hasn't happened that many times before. Bitcoin fees were always too high, everybody said. Go to Ethereum because there the fees are lower. And now these Ethereum fees, already two months are higher than the Bitcoin fees, like you can see on this chart. 
I am very excited to see how this will evolve because this whole DeFi industry, of course, is like clustering the whole Ethereum blockchain. It's, it's creating a lot of transactions, this DeFi industry. And now Ethereum is experiencing the same problems that Bitcoin had when this huge bull run was last time. Because during that bull run, you know, we saw the Bitcoin fees going sky high just because there were so many people using the blockchain. And now because so many people are using the Ethereum blockchain because of this DeFi hype, these fees of the Ethereum blockchain has been rising above the Bitcoin fees. Really cool information and let's keep our eye on what is happening over there because I'm very curious to see what will happen to all these fees after all these halvings that happen in Bitcoin. Will the Ethereum fees ever go below these Bitcoin fees? Let's see, but it was a really cool chart and a really cool news item. And then I have one more news item guys, one more news item from the Netherlands, yes from Holland. Because the Dutch Central Bank now gave away the first crypto license to a company under the AML D5 crypto regulations. So this is all the anti-money laundering regulations that is very tough to get a license in the Netherlands. I don't even understand why people, why companies try to get this a license in the Netherlands. They could just move out of the Netherlands and take their business somewhere else, just like Dairybit did, because they hated this AML like shit, so they just left the Netherlands. But now there is one company called Admax, and they received the first license in the Netherlands to trade and huddle your Bitcoins. So let's see in the next video somewhere if I can get some more information about AdMax because I would really love to know who the people are behind this AdMax company. Sadly guys, but we need to wear a mask inside. I forgot my mask, so I can't show the inside of the castle. But I don't think the castle is really special. It's just like the walls that are beautiful, but inside is just cliffs like you just already saw here and you saw and you see some beautiful views. I don't care about the entrance. I don't care about paying three euro 50 to get into a castle, but I do care if they then want to tell me to wear a mask because guys, the castle is open air if I am allowed to walk around here without a mask in open air. So no, not going in there now, not even when I would have a mask. Sorry guys, um, they just shared the location with me where I can pick up the flip-flops. It's a beach somewhere here where they are, where they are surfing. Um, so I'm driving there now with the Bitcoin Machina. Yes, the Bitcoin Prime Machina. Some of you told me, Didi, you need to call it the Bitmobile. We already did that in another tour. This one is the Bitcoin Prime Machina. Yes, of course, because the supporters are Prime XBT and Machina Trader. If you want to trade some Bitcoins in a really cool exchange that really has really cool features like copy trading and take a look at Prime XBT. Don't forget to sign up using my referral link because if you use my referral link, you get a 50% deposit bonus. It's a huge bonus, guys. Just picked up the flip-flop, guys. Look, I need to unwrap this Mojo flip-flops. Look, the shape bottom so I can walk all these clips. We need to test them in a few minutes. Time for a copy. Let's take a walk here and check the beach. There's one small size and the other one are bigger. The brand is called Mojo. Perfect size. Did you have Juna? Yours? Wow. Mojo, guys, was born in the mountains in the beaches south of Manila. The type when the Philippine outdoors was enjoyed by passionate few. Over the years, this love for true outdoors has been nurtured and shared from a soul to your soul. Mojo Sandals. Mojofreedom.com. Check them out. Cool sandals. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and yes, leave a comment. And of course, again, I want to remind you to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.